All right, back to our training conversations, guys. Uh, this one is an exciting time for students as, you know, our our strike has been lifted now national assembly has passed the student loan bill which is super super exciting um i know that a lot of students have the challenge of you know going to school there's always an issue either they cannot put the bills of their <coughs> schooling or education or stuff and they passed this bill they submitted this bill for a very long time okay and now the national assembly has finally passed the bill so my challenge with this is that I know that tertiary institutions, um, some of them are quite affordable, especially the federal federal government ones and sometimes the state ones as well. So mm. does this loan apply to the private universities? And this is, uh, I know, th I'm sure this is what the question on a lot of people's minds because, like I mentioned, federal institutions are affordable, right? Uh, and they are not so affordable anymore. And also, does this loan extend to people that want to do their masters, you know? In, in the, the abroad. Able, in, the abroad uh, in the abroad, exactly. You see, that's why it's called the Nigerian student because student if you do look at bill. it if you're doing yours in nigeria then, then it would it apply here it right apply here well it should apply well i don't know uh it's been a while we graduated from school i don't know how much it is right now back then my school fees no not like back back then <laughs> but it was 19,800 in Uniben, 19,800 so, when you buy the fees and stuff, pay school fees. You see what I'm saying? So basically, it's affordable. Um, then it was. It was affordable then. It's still affordable now. In, in comparison, in if you compare it to private schools. Yes, it is affordable in yeah. a way. So I don't really know the, the effects of uh, this bill or how effective it's going to be or who it's really geared towards. But whatever the case may be, though, there are some people out there that do get grants and bursaries, and this loan is also going, this, this new bill would aid the people that need the loans, you know, mm -hmm. to help them. And that's a good thing. It's a step in the right direction. Yeah. We should just invest more in education because that's what we really need in this country. Yes, we do. Uh, for those of you who do not know exactly fully what it is, is, the bill is for an act to provide for easy access to higher education for Nigerians through interest-free loans from the Nigerian Education Bank, established in this act with a view to providing education for all Nigerians and for other purposes connected thereto. And that's the bill that has been passed um, by Bajala. What's his name? Bajabia again? Amila. Yes, Femi Bajabia Amila. Uh, she's a great one. Let's let's fingers crossed and let's hope that it is effected, put into law, and then lots of students will be able to afford school while working one or two jobs and still, you know, trying to people work hard in Nigeria, there. and yeah, um, it, it, will, it will come hard. to it will come to the fore for most people that really do need.